love destruction too. When I think of the word destruction, my nipples get hard, kind of like when I used to listen to a chorus line or Pippin in high school. I get this feeling deep in my vagina, kind of like when I was in seventh grade and I couldn't figure out a graph and I had to keep on erasing the line of the graph and I kept on erasing and erasing and the time was ticking down and I got this weird feeling deep inside me kind of like the way I crave nicotine and coffee and I don't know if The Bachelor is taping right now. <laughs> but destruction, I mean who doesn't love destruction? I romanticize destruction. And it, it, just, there's my nipple part, but fuck it. <laughs> Let me tell you something, honestly, I could put my hand, this is the feeling I get when I think about destruction. I want to stick my hand deep up my vagina, up through my guts, past my lungs and heart, and reach up and grab my brain and rip it out and throw it at you. <laughs> That's how deep it is. <laughs> Performance Artie or Karen Finley-ish or Gigi Allen-ish or whatever it was, but let me tell you something. I want to say, and I got this from Roth when he talked about fate, so I'm going to share this. At the turn of the new year, I thought, God, it's 2013, that's good. I was born in a 13, I'm like, yay, 13. Finally, after like over a decade of being stuck, I thought, I want the same things I wanted in 1997. I want to be a performance artist. <laughs> and, and I got that feeling, so the fact that he asked me January 3rd, when I'm like to my friends, like, I want to be a performance artist. I want everything I wanted in 1997. <laughs> and then he called, so I'm going to share that because I just want to talk about bad stuff. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You can talk all you want about fucking destruction, but when you're the basic, most basic creation, is every time you look in the toilet after you take a shit. I mean, really, honestly, you always look in the toilet at this thing. You want to look at this thing that you've created or made. Last week, I swear, I created a lowercase b. <laughs> and I was like, whoa! You know, it's like a big deal. You always look at it. I know it's disgusting, and I talked about ripping stuff out of my vagina, but still. <laughs> so you create out of your ass, you create out of your mouth, with what you wear, with the thoughts, and this is obviously one of the biggest industry, creating with your thoughts. A huge industry tops the weight loss industry, the self-help industry, and you're sitting there and your cells are creating. And, and sure, there's destruction in the mix. There's always destruction. And, and yes, we're dying right now. You know, you're living and you're dying. I'm a Libra, I wish. I'm, I'm glad I never had a scales tattooed. I ever had everything else shitty tattooed on me. But I just think that creation triumphs. You, you innately create, and you know what? Creation triumphs destruction. Creation is always what follows destruction. And, and you don't have to even make it happen. It's not even with a thought. And it got me thinking about people who have killed themselves. And I don't know what it's like, you know, obviously that deep. I mean, I, I've done it so much that I've stayed stuck. You know, that I've stopped doing what I feel like I'm meant to do because I care about what you think or I'm scared to express myself or, you know, that whole thing with the, when I was talking about the vagina, a part of me was thinking too, I would never do that because I wouldn't want to show you my insides. Because that's too, that's too vulnerable for me. That's why I'm stuck. That's why I watch reality shows. Because I'm afraid to share who I am. I'm afraid to tell you what it is I want. I, I was afraid to stand on a stage and express myself. I felt like that was weird. You know, at 30, what am I doing? Wanting to express myself in a weird way that might, make, might not want to be with me. Uh, or if they did, then they'd, you know, see how scared I was. Whatever. So there, there's, there's my honesty. Uh, uh, but I mean, I, I, seriously, I do have a serious, serious problem with the reality shows. And I watch these shows, not for the train wrecks, but for the change, you know, for them to get sober, or to lose the weight, or to, you know, find the love like I wanted for them. I, I don't know any of their names or anything about them past the show, but I want it for them. Oh, and I just wanted to say, too, I was going to talk about the, my resin ball head. Where am I at time? I'm also very destructive. I didn't time myself. <laughs> am I close? Two minutes, two minutes. Okay, okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Just, let's just 
<laughs> Let's just think basically. <laughs> if you blow your hand off in the 4th of July fireworks, you know, <laughs> you're, you're going to get a skin graft or maybe a prosthetic. Uh, you might go online for amputees and then like, uh, maybe you'll go to, a, maybe you'll fall in love and you'll have like a fully alone baby. Maybe you'll become a physical therapist because you were so inspired. You know, <laughs> who knows? Or, or thinking about dying. Just remember my time is almost up and die. Or what about this? God created light, first thing. That's what creation is, light. It's that light inside you, it's life. Light is life. God created for the first six days, whether you believe about God or not, huh? if, it's, if it's real or if it's a creation. The big, bang, the big bang happened. That was the biggest destruction of all. And look at what, look at what it created. Uh, you are, you are. Fuck that guy with the hood on and whatever. That's inside you, fuck it. But creation triumphs because you are that blade of grass after the apocalypse. You, you, you are, even if a cyborg mows you over. You, you're the next one that comes in its place. It's never ending. He was powerful, destruction is powerful, destruction is deep, destruction is inside you, destruction is in everyone. But creation, creation always comes from destruction. Creation always rises. It was the first thing, and it's going to be the last thing. Because even if it ends here, it's going to go on and on and on and on and on. So suck that destruction. <laughs>